Okay, so let's get... Uh, well, we'll buy the next train when we can afford it. Oh, we can afford it now. There we go. And you get onto Halo Freight 1. Off we go. So, yeah, this is just kind of rinse and repeat until we get loads of trains on this line. Oh, look at all the trains flying around now. It's peachy, isn't it? I do need to upgrade all of the passenger trains to uh, Flying Scotsman's, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Right now, we do need to invest in the freight because the other thing about shipping the freight is that the towns will grow, so we'll get more passengers, which will make the passenger line more profitable. And, uh, and I have got a little... A little thing, a little secret up my sleeve for uh, for getting the passenger lines even more profitable. Now, I don't think we'll be doing that in this episode, but I think probably the next episode I will, will reveal that secret. And we'll see if it works, because I don't know if it is definitely going to work. We'll see. We'll see. Right, we're up to 11 million. 12, can I clone this yet? Yes, I can. All right, and then you go on to... Halo Freight 1. And there's another freight train. Hooray! So we're getting lots of flight freight trains now. How many freight trains have we got? Halo Freight 1 now has 12 trains. Um, so I think probably one more. Get up to 14. And we'll probably leave it at that for now. And then we'll see where we go from there. Because I... I once we've got like 14 trains running on there, then I need to focus on getting more stuff onto the line, I think. Although, well, I don't know. We'll see. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how the factories up their production. Because once we can ship a lot of stuff, the factories that we've already got should be, should be producing quite a lot of stuff. Right. Yeah, I think we'll just release you. I can't remember. Now, we've got, we've got 12... That'd be 13. No, we want one more then. Okay, so we'll clone you and then we'll put you both on Halo Freight 1. There you go. Alrighty. So that's that done. Now, I, I haven't forgotten that I need to change uh, all of the road vehicles back to 100% uh, rather than 25% um, rather than uh, but we've got a few years. Now, we had a couple of bus lines that... Oh, they've they've upgraded. Oh, there you go. So, Landsberg and Maisley have all upgraded to the new buses. Awesome. So, yeah, I think we finished all of our road upgrading. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? Sweet. Halo Freight 1. Look at all those freight trains. Now, we had a massive stock of food sitting at Viuterville. Here we go. Now, this train's just pulled out with a full load of food. And he's delivered some construction materials. And probably machines and tools. That will have got... Oh, here you go. So, over here, we've got tools, fuel. We've got machines and construction materials. And that's gonna, that stuff's going to get picked up by these trucks. He's got a full load of construction materials. He's going to go and ship out. Here comes the next truck. What are you going to grab? Oh, he's grabbed a load of food that he's going to go and deliver. Alrighty, so the question now is, Viuterville GP, uh, is it making a profit? Let's have a look. Uh, actually, let's go and select one of these trucks. That's the easiest one. So if we select one of these trucks, let's have a look at the Viuterville GP line. There we go. So, this line was definitely making a loss before, I know that, and uh, now, oh, the profits have suddenly jumped up in the last year, oh, sorry, the, the amount that it's delivering, now let's have a look at the profit and loss. Okay, so it's been making a loss up until the last two years, and suddenly, boom, it's making, well, it was, actually, this was making a, a small profit, it's now making big profits. It's making almost 300,000 a year now. Uh, let's go and check another one. In fact, uh, oh, got auto save. Oh, it's 1950. Pause. 
Pause. It's January 1950. Uh, we get a new tank wagon and a new state car. Blooming sod's law, isn't it? After I've just bought all of those ones. Now I need to buy new ones. Cuh. We get a rail bus. I've no idea what that is. And we get the Viola and the Axalp. Which I'm guessing is um, those are a new a new tanker and a new cargo ship. Let's go and check. Let's have a look at these. So, buy ships. The Viola. Yeah, that's our new tanker, the Viola. And the Axalp is our new, our new cargo ship. That's pretty nice. I like that. Capacity 150 instead of the Klondike, which is 100. So, um, so yeah, we will get all of those replaced. I don't think we're going to do it in this episode. I think it'll be the next episode we'll do all that sort of stuff. Because right now, all I want to focus on is getting all of this stuff like working smoothly. So... We'll run it on on slow, and I'll, I don't know, uh, where's, a, where's an interesting place for me to kind of park the camera while I, I don't know, maybe, this, this is kind of interesting, you can see trains going over the bridge, and you can see these guys running around, you can see the cargo train, what are you doing, oh he's just picked up a load of construction materials I think, cool, right let's look at the profitability of these, um, these road freight lines, because that is what this is all about really. So let's see, um, RF Bickety. Now Bickety, let's have a look. Have you improved your situation? Finances. Okay, the, definitely it's starting to pick up. Now Bickety's kind of at the end, like pretty much close to the end of the food chain. Um, what's after, what's after Viewtiful? It's Viewtaville and then um, I can't remember. Dogging on the dogging on the sly is kind of now this this I should would expect to see this getting starting to get. I'll say it was getting nothing. Now it's starting to get more stuff delivered. Cool. Um, now let's see. Well, but I don't know what about now Barrington is Barrington before or after Honklebrief? Can't remember. Where's uh, where's Honkelbrief? This is this is Barrington because that's Barrington Airport. Oh, there's Honkelbrief. So yeah, Barrington should be getting a reasonable amount of stuff. So let's uh, let's have a look at Barrington. How's Barrington doing? Barrington, RF, finances. Oh yeah. Last two years, it suddenly started making a profit. Hooray! Let's hope that keeps up. I would have thought that, you know what? I would have thought Sparksville should be making a decent profit, but it's not. It's kind of surprising. Yeah, why, why aren't you making a profit? Because you kind of should be. Um, well, hang on, we've only got five vehicles on each of those. Yeah. Which makes me even more surprised because you know what? Let's go. We should be we should be making money. I mean, if there's only five trucks, they should be running around full all the time. Let's go and take a look at this. So we're we're delivering out to Sparksville Central, and I guess the other one. Yeah, it's, de de it's delivering out to Lower Sparksville. Now, oh, this is get. Oh, yeah. See, this is getting stuff in from the harbour, as opposed to this. Now, what line is this? This is Oh, this is Sparksville GP. Oh, here we go. Now, Sparksville GP. This. Let's have a look at the finances. Yeah, there we go. It's um, it was making kind of small profits, but now, yeah, it's making much better. Although it's down at the moment this year, but hopefully that'll go up. So let's look at our overall profits then, because I would think we should be making some pretty freaking decent money now. Uh, let's see. Last year we made 32 million, but we spent 34, so that's 66 million. So we're up from. 30 million to 66. This year, uh, we haven't, well, we spent virtually nothing. 
and we're up 20 million and it's only May. So yeah, 100 million was obviously over ambitious, but 66 million a year, that's not too bad. It's more than doubled it in this episode. I would crank it onto fast, <laughs> but ah, we kind of can't. Now, I want to look at the um, I want to look at the passenger trains very quickly because they should have spaced themselves out a bit now. So Where are the passenger trains? Okay, there's a passenger train there. Where's the next one then? There's one uh, there's one going in that direction. There's the next passenger train. Really? That's a hell of a distance. So there's that one. There's definitely nothing on there. And then that one. Okay, well, let's carry on going around this way. So the next one is there. So that's about, yeah, that's about a town's width apart, isn't it? So the next one should be kind of, you would have thought, up here. Yeah, no. There's no trains on that section, so... Ah, is that the next one? I think that's the next one, isn't it? Yeah, the Nanny Piggles. And where's the next one? Oh, the next one's there. Train 28. And then the next one... is there. Train 26. And then... Yeah, so... In terms of the line, the ride's running pretty sweetly, and in fact, we, we've got capacity, certainly, to put more trains on. I'm thinking you could probably, like, close to double the amount of trains. Now, how are we doing at shipping this food? Uh, you got 90 food waiting. You've just p picked up a full load, I'm guessing. Yeah. And he's shipping fuel. He's got one construction material left to ship. So that's nice. We need another factory on this side of the map producing construction materials. That's what we need, guys. Like, like I don't know, somewhere over here, if we were producing construction materials, getting them onto the line. That would be really cool. Now, um, the other thing that I want to look at is, now that we're shipping this stuff, for example, um, down here, right, before, we had a load of food sitting here, and there was no, no trains really to pick it up and move it, or not very many trains. Now, we're shipping more. Like, this has just picked up uh, 32 food. We've got still got 148 sitting at the station. This has just brought another load. So, we've now got how much sitting at the station? We've now got 200 sitting at the station. Now, the question is, how is production? Oh my god, 528, 530, let's look at the charts, because that must have ramped up massively in like the last three years. Uh, yeah, look, boom. Before it was like peaking and then stopping, peaking and then stopping, now, yeah, we're flying. Yeah, we've got potential for, for what, for almost 4,000. Wow, how is this doing? this yeah this isn't producing quite so much let's have a look oh yeah uh, it's still ramping up um how are we doing with the trucks are they coping yeah the trucks are coping uh are they carrying full loads no they're not carrying full loads so we've got extra capacity there we probably don't need that many vehicles now now that they're faster and whatever what's the uh, i don't know what the, the speed limit is on this road but these go 37 miles an hour, I think, and 38, and this road can definitely cope with that. Alrighty, we still got lots of passengers waiting. Look at this. We need more trains. God, we need more trains. The blind Archangel has just picked up a full load, um, and yeah, we've got to upgrade these trains as well. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But they're the older carriages. So these trains are slower. 
and they don't carry as many people. So we need to do something about that. Should we do that now? It's not time for the next episode yet, is it? Nah, good. Uh, and we're producing millions of bricks. Look at the bricks waiting to be shipped. 250 waiting to be shipped. And here comes another train to pick up, I would think, a full load of construction materials. Yep, he's already got a full load of fuel. So he unloads some fuel, picks up a load of construction materials, and he'll be off on his way. Freaking awesome source. All right. We've got, oh my God, we've, we've got 100 million to spend. So um, I'm thinking we're going to be getting some more freight trains. Because we just don't have enough freight trains. How many, do, uh, how many did I say we have? Like 14, I think. Was it 14? I think it was 14. Where are we? Up here. Uh, yeah, 14. We need more. We're only making 2 million. Well, we were making 2 million. Oh, 1.6. Um, it's coming up to the end of the year. Yeah, we need to get more stuff on the lines. I think, yeah, I think the next episode is going to be kind of de dedicated to getting more freight on the lines. I'm thinking building materials and goods are probably the, the first target. Um, oh, I remember what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at factory production. Here we go. Let's have a look. So, quarry is up there. Did get food processing. That's the new food processing plant over here. That's this one. Did get food processing plant. And... The construction materials is flying. How's our steel plant? Where's the steel plant? The steel mill is like way down. There's something freaking wrong with this. Like what is up with that steel mill? Because that should be producing crazy amounts of stuff. I tell you, I, I wonder if it's this station that's clogged up. Look, look, there's millions of planks sitting here. There's 167 planks. And I wonder if that is holding things up. I think it is. Yeah, the planks need to get shipped down there a hell of a lot faster. Have we got a we haven't got a depot on that line, have we? Because we, we use this depot. Yeah, alright. Let's um let's double this up. Let's do a bit of construction in this episode. How about that? For a change. So come on. There we go. Put that bit in, and then so we'll double track it. We'll put another engine on so that we can we can double the amount that gets shipped. Um, what's that got? That's got like so it's just eight state cars. Is it eight state cars? One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight state cars and a and an open one. I'm not going to bother with the, the, the open wagon. I don't think on the other train. Um, so let's put you in. And we'll double this up. Oh, I put freaking catenaries. No, I don't want catenaries, thank you. I've got them on the other line. Mind you, I could upgrade this to an electric train, couldn't I? Oh, do I say, well, do I say yes then? Should we upgrade this to catenaries? Yeah, go on, let's do it. Let's upgrade this to electric trains. Because I know some of you guys love electric trains, so let's do it. So let's go to our upgrade tool. And yes, catenaries. So there we go, I've got catenaries there and there. And there. I've already done it on the other line, fortunately. My stupidity paid off for once. Um we've got catenaries all the way around there? Yeah we have. And then that bit and that bit. And there. Alright, cool. That's all we need to do. Let's put the last bit in. Now we'll have to have a separate depot um, for this because the other depot is. Well, I suppose I could electrify the other the line to the depot. Too much slope, seriously. Oh, no, yeah, let's do that. All right, there you go. Cool. Did I put the other end? I did put the other end in, didn't I? No, I didn't. Good job. I looked. Right. So that's that done. Um, okay, you will upgrade. So, 
So, uh, what did I want? I wanted the line. So, this... Oh, I need to put some signals in, don't I? Yep. Would help. So, I need a signal down here. Um, oh, we've got the... We've got the newer signals. We don't have the older signals anymore. So we've got a new signal going. Look at this. Isn't this, isn't this fancy and modern? Wow. All right. So you're going to go up there. And I'm going to put one on this side as well. Because I like doing it. So that's going to go there. Uh, let's just check the line. Okay, so that has now switched nicely to both sides. Uh, let's finish off the signals. So we want a signal there. And a signal. Oh, come on, go in. Signals are, are a bit fussy about where they'll go sometimes. There we go. Um, have I put that signal in wrong? Have I put that signal in? I think I've put that signal in on the wrong side, haven't I? Let's see. Take you out and... So... Let's get the, get the train up again. So I can see the line. Uh, where are you? There you are. And get the line. Right. Yep, it's on both sides now. Oh yeah, I put it on the wrong track. I put it on the wrong track. That's on the right, that's in the right place. This one was in the wrong place. So that signal should go. There we go. That's right. Alrighty. So we've electrified it. Do we put a depot in? Yeah, I suppose we do. Where do we put a depot in? Uh, or do I electrify this? Nah, what, like what the hell? Let's electrify this. I can't be bothered. To, I can't be bothered to put another depot in. Upgrade. So, oh, that's got catenaries, that bit. So we'll upgrade that bit, and that bit, and that, and we need to upgrade. Oh, that's got, yeah, that hasn't. So, to get from here, is there a, is there a switch somewhere? So you can get onto this track? I don't see one. So how do you get how do you get onto this track? You can get onto here. We need one to get onto here. Okay. How did I ever get that train onto that line? I have no idea. And why won't you? There we go. Oh, too much curvature. Go a bit further. There. Oh no. And more. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Okay, cool. So, now we can get a nice electric train on that line. I suppose we should upgrade uh, this one maybe first. So, if I do replacement... Um, what did I say? It's got, like, eight state cars at the moment. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job I counted them. So, it's got nine state cars. Oh, hang on, have we got... Have we already got two trains on this? No, it's just one. It's no, it's definitely just one train. Didn't that have an open car on the back? That had an open wagon, didn't it? Uh, according to this, it's oh, there it is. I was gonna say, it was hiding. Okay, you're gonna get replaced. Um, so let's do auto replacement set vehicle. What we're we gonna go with? Uh, we went with um, a four slash seven, didn't we last time? That's 62 miles an hour. This thing is 56, but it's more powerful. Which, I don't know, might help up this hill. That's 4,000, that's 3,000. Yeah, you know what, let's go with that. Okay, so uh, automatically upgrade, yes. Right, go. Now pause for a second. Yeah, this is the this is the steel line. This is a steel and planks line. Right, so we want another one of those on this line. 
Let's go up here and we want by trains. One of these by and we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And do I put an open? Do I put an open? I'm going to put an open on. Yeah. And buy. Right, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And you are going to go on to the TF Sparksville Steel and Plank Line. Right, go. Let's crank this up. I want to see this. Can you get out of there yet? Another train coming in. Now, I suppose I should really put a second. I'll pause. Well, no, well not pause, but slow, because I want to have a look at that new train. So, uh, we should really put a signal. Right. There. We go. That's the right way. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go and have a look at this baby. Now, that is a pretty like full-on old-style electric train, isn't it? It's much nicer than the other, the one we used on that um, food line that we put in, which was our first electrified line. They're much nicer. Oh, and there's the other one. Now, you're not carrying anywhere near a full load, are you? 11 steel, 5 planks. Right, and now we're putting another one on. So... The question is, now that we've done that, oh, look at this. That's changed, hasn't it? That's that's upgraded. Let's have a look at you. Is your production going to go up? This is the question. It's been it's been pretty much constant the whole time. So, let's have a look at the details. The details. But it's it's not showing the product potential that we would expect. Try to ship more steel. Yeah, well, we can ship as much as you can make now. So the question now is, has it got enough materials coming in? Yeah, it's got loads. So why isn't it manufacturing faster? It just hasn't picked up on the fact that it can sell millions of products. And I kind of don't understand why. This thing... Yeah, this has got the this has got the bug, but um, maybe that's why. Maybe that it's the bug that's causing the problem. But yeah, and if that's the case, that's a real freaking shame, because I've just spent loads of money on this line, and now it's going to make a big loss because it's got no stuff to ship. Although, um, maybe the planks. I don't know. No, but we've got the same issue with the planks. Production, now that's pretty, that's a, got, that's a, like 170. Yeah, let's have a look at the charts. And that's been consistent all the time. So, yeah, it's like, I'm not sure what we can do to increase the, the capacity of this. Well, actually, I suppose the only other thing that we can do is, uh, is boost the boats. Because they're the ones who are shipping it over to potentially the railway station. My God, the brick factory's gone freaking crazy. Look at all the construction materials. It's 300 construction materials waiting now. Yowzers. Um, yeah, you know what? We're going to have to uh, upgrade these boats. Uh, because they're doing um, a not very good job, I don't think, of shipping from over here to over here. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, we've got, I mean, we've got old boat. That's the Sparksville slag. Uh, it's this. Yeah, it's this line. Let's click on the line so we can see it. Uh, and that's going into there. I want the line that's going from here to here. Now, actually, that's a question. Do we have a line going from here to here? Uh, I think it's only the Sparksville slag that's going from there to there. Ooh, yeah, maybe we found a problem. Maybe we need to stick a bunch of, uh, a bunch of 
bunch of ships on this line. Maybe that'll fix the problem. If you want to find out if that's the problem, if you want to find out if that's going to fix it, you'll have to come back for the next episode. We've got 135 million. We um, we can repay our, line, our loan, which I'm going to do that now. We've made 70 million in 1950. We've already made 25 million this year. And we spent 25 million on a new train. So that would be 50 million. So, yeah, I think uh, things are going pretty well. We're flying. Come back and find out. Can we improve things even more? Peace out. <laughs>